All right, so now let's uh, line up these shadow area. So we can go to create and create lights, and we can uh, maybe create a point light. Okay, and um, we can place it around here. And as you can see, my render view, uh, it is rendering the perspective camera, right? Uh, however, I want to render from this view, so I can go to uh, render, render from, and render camera one. So now you're going to render from camera one's perspective. And here is how it looks. Okay, and it will take a, a few seconds to render this image. And right now, I keep all the settings, the corner of the image, as the lowest. Okay, and as we get a better lighting, and we're going to increase the rendering quality, and you're going to slow down the rendering process. And here I'll just uh, press uh, Escape, ESC key to um, stop rendering. And here I can adjust the position of my lights. And I want to make it closer to the building. Something like this. And then I can just render this. And then here I can just render this area, you know, make a selection and render this small area. Okay. And make it closer. And you can also um, go to the here the attribute editor and you can change the light intensity. For example, here if I change it to 20, see the preview here looks really weird. Maybe I can change it 40. So it's really intense, however, it will show correctly in the Arnold render. Okay, now you can see that we add a little bit of lighting in this area, in the shaded area. So maybe 40 is still not enough and I'll just do um, 200 and I'll give it a color like a uh, yellow and then here let's render again okay see here you see the difference and let me see how I can okay anyway uh, the window is a little bit hard to adjust but you can see that we started to add some yellowish um, point lights to this area. Okay, so that is the point light. You can see if uh, you want to lighten up the windows and you want to create a street lights, you will uh, use a point light. Okay, and I will turn off the night preview since now we are getting a little bit more uh, intensity for the lights. So now for the directional light, I want to make it as blue, so I'll go to all liner and select the directional light, and then go to attribute editor, and here I can change it to bluish color. So this will be the moonlight, okay? And I can change the intensity to maybe three. And for the point light, I would like to change it to maybe 400 to double it. And then uh, I can grab this whole area and make a render. Okay, so now you can see that uh, the lights coming from the sky it is a bluish. However, it's very saturated, right? So we can lower down the color a little bit. And this is the orangish, yellowish color we created as the point light, and it will lighten the specific areas. Okay, and same thing for the um, spotlight. So here for the spotlight, it's going to only illuminate a specific area. So let me temporarily hide the direction light and point light. Hide them. And then select the spotlight. And if I turn on the lights and shadow, see here, you can see, um, depends on which direction you aim it to. So if I want to aim to this direction, you can, right? And you can also preview it here. So only light and specific area. It's like a cool light. Okay, and um, to make it look the same result here in all the render, you have to um, boost up the intensity. So this spotlight is the same as the spotlight I covered in Unity 3D. 
All right, um, and I think I'll just hide this layer, hide this uh, spotlight, and I'll show the directional light and uh, the point light. Okay, and I'll turn off the lighting preview. Um, so if you re uh, satisfy with the result here, the whole thing, and then you can just um, render the whole thing by clicking on here. Okay, and once you're done, go to save image and make sure file type is a JPEG and put your file name here. And you're done with rendering. Um, and to render a really high quality image, that's another story and we'll get more detail to that. So you basically you all have to come to here, auto render and change all these settings. Okay. Um, however, by default, um, you know, we, you should have a good uh, quality image with this setting. Okay.